and it's beginning to look like Christmas. And it's beginning to look a lot like it. So welcome back to New Soccer Wars. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester. Well, it's about time for the Christmas show. We got a lot of practice to do. We gotta go check on Sakura to see if she's doing all right. You know, I honestly forgot you were going for like the tuxedo mask look. And I just thought we were being extremely regal in this episode. I mean, look at that. And look at that. <laughs> I always love when we have a bit of time between each episode. That way I can forget that we're wearing basically nothing. Yeah. And I wouldn't really want to sit on that kind of bench with that swimsuit. I mean, just the splinters alone. Oh, and it's one of those benches where it hasn't been sanded down in years. You know, all the all the moisture has caused all the excess splinters to start showing up. And then, you, you know, you, you look all hot and sexy in your new swimsuit, but then you realize, oh, I just sat down in a, in a seat full of wood. Ow. So, so something's up with Anastasia. I mean, this is her chapter, after all. we got to figure out what's up with her. If we're enough about her, how do you how do you feel, Sakura? If it turns out that Anastasia feels inadequate compared to everyone else in our combat review, I'm gonna scream. Do I really think that she's the right choice for the lead role in the Christmas play? Hmm. How many different ways are, are there to say no? <laughs> <laughs> Come on! I know you want to do it! Oh, you didn't say anything! Minor understatement. How do I let you down easy? Let's see. I do not believe in you! Apparently, if I had told her that she needed to grow into the role, that would have lost points. What?! But that's a thing you say to people! Yeah. Especially when they're still inexperienced, you know? They, they, you have to know a role so well that you basically become the character! If I tell her that Anastasia should, should do the role, then she'll get upset. If I tell her that she's to grow into it, she'll be upset. I have to tell her that you're perfect just the way you are! You were born for this role! I noticed that, you know, and this happened to Sakura Wars 5, too, where you kind of have to play to the ego of the character just a little bit. With this one, it is literally all ego or no-go. To the point where even the other characters have to feed into her ego. Well, they also, like, feed into the ego of each other. I love how her hand doesn't really touch her leg because she's supposed to be wearing big, floofy pants. <laughs> this is all a simulation. They're still wearing their regular clothing, but there's, you know, visual imagery happening. Oh, visual I wish they imagery. could this whole game. <laughs> well, gotta head down to the bath for another scene of, oh, there's a girl. Let's get out of here. So I will say, this part was kind of clever. Why do I feel drawn to this place? Uh, dive in. Dive in. <laughs> That's clever, I like that. It's a fun gag. Yes, that is good. I like everybody talks to themselves and they're about to do stuff. It's like, ah, I'm here by myself. Hmm, Peanut is here. That is strange. Now I will open the door. It feels warm in here. Gosh, I can't I'm wait. I'm taking off my shirt and lathering up my, my sponge. God damn I'm it. I'm soaping my back now and washing it off. I feel quite clean. God, I can't wait to take off my 
just drenched, sweat-covered clothing and just take a nice, relaxing bath in the nice, warm water. You know, being able to relax a bit, knowing that no one else is here. Gotta be careful around that wart. <laughs> oh, the fungus is back. Well, that's all right. One day it'll go away. Hey, Hatsuho. Oh, do I have a sec? Girl, I'll give you a full minute. It's a note. Hmm. Some now ab. We are here to take your distorted desires away. Huh. Wrong it's number, I think. So, if we unscramble all the word or all the letters. Hmm, let's see. Put this one here and this one here. Ah, eat at Joe's. Damn it. <laughs> Bomb in trash can. <laughs> I don't know. Rabbit cannon sounds pretty great. Oh no, someone's like... Like, we already have no money. We're already dealing with repairs. We're using a shoddy stage for a big Christmas show. Now someone wants to put a bomb in a trash can and blow us up? Like, give us a break. I will say this is the most action this theater has gotten in a long time. <laughs> well, where's the bomb? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, come on, really? You couldn't go, like, digging through all the trash cans? It is that a... would just kill the pacing even more. Oh, uh, well... Alright. But I can see it's like a deactivated trash can. Like... Deactivated trash can. Deactivated bomb in the trash can. Looks like a place to pee. Like a, like a bedpan or something. Maybe it could be one of those, like, hand Chinese traps. You know, stick your hand in it and it just gets worse as you try to pull it out. Wait, you didn't check to see if it was actually a bomb. I am actually dying. There is... There are no voices during these scenarios, and it begs to be acted. There's so much personality that is missing from this now. I mean, the irony that a game about being an actor in a theater barely has any voice acting in it. And they said... Uh, the, like. It drives me nuts, because the developers were like, Oh, well, you know, there's a lot of voice parts, and it's gonna take some time. It's like, first of all, every RPG has, like, ten times the voice dialogue that this game does. Second of all, you took the time to actually, you know, animate these portions, and give them lip flaps, but you don't give them voices, which would have taken, you know, a quarter of the time? I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, you could have even taken a page from the Tales of Games. Aren't those scenarios just, like... 2D images lip flapping? And most of them voiced, if not all of them? Or am I thinking wrong? Him, I think I started voicing them in like uh when Vesperia came out. But... Focus on the bomb, you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, we're about to die here, and all you care about is pink thoughts. <laughs> <sighs> Has there ever been a video game where the protagonist doesn't want to do anything you want them to do? Like, they actively refuse to be a main character in a JRPG? And then Kamiyama sneezes, and then that's gonna set up the whole thing- OH GOD, NO! Oh my god! Turns out it was just a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> nah, it's something stupider than that. It's a camera! 
Oh. <laughs> oh, wow, there was no hand there. It's a bomb, Manju. What? It's a bomb, Manju. Are we talking like a Manju that's the bomb, or it it actually explodes? No, I'm not gonna get any explanation. It's just a bomb, Manju. All right. Uh, what did that do for us? Get more points for Hatsuho, I think. Basically. Okay. I'm glad we had this time together. We enjoyed a lot of bonding over a bomb. We also got a bromide. Okay, if it was for a bromide, then I... Oh, it's us again. Behold, my two swords I never use. I'm starting to think they're not real blades. All right, seeing up here in the archives, probably Claris. How did I know? Uh, Anastasia, don't you think it's a little cold in the middle of winter wearing only swimsuits? Wow, weird. It's another thing about this game. It's like almost Christmas, right? Yeah. It's like it's like the week of Christmas, and I can barely tell outside. Well, I mean, when every outside background is a star exploding... I mean, like, yeah. even if I go outside, there's no snow, there's no Christmas decorations, it, it looks the same oh. as it does in the dead of summer. Is this New York? No, it's Tokyo. Tokyo, excuse me. Uh... I could have sworn Tokyo gets a lot of snow. Something is up with Anastasia, though. Oh no! Does she have feelings? I want to talk to you about your job performance. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kamiyama, I found a pink slip on my door. What are you trying to tell Get me? Get your act together! <laughs> Your numbers are not up from last month, Anastasia. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to uh, write you up for this. Unpaid leave for two weeks. Oh my god, can you imagine if these girls were actually paid by commission? <laughs> they wouldn't be able to afford anything. I'm just thinking, can you imagine if these girls were paid at all? Go keep an eye on her. Follow her around. Stalk her. Find out where she sleeps. Where she goes every day. Oh, Track okay. her movement pattern. Here we go. I, fa I found your notebook, and I didn't read it because every time I read it, I read something of yours, you get all, like, all flustered, but this time I didn't read it, and now you're... Disappointed? <laughs> you girls are crazy. I'm out of here. Oh, God. We're living in a psychopath house. Everybody's right. cray. Tete-a-tete. Tete-a-tete. We're, we're done with the tete-a-tetes. Damn it! No, those are like the most interesting parts. They're all over. Wait, really? Yep. No more tete-a-tetes. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, we're done with them. Everyone only got, like, one? Yeah, that was all. Why? Well, you, you, that's, that's all you get? No, 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 I need a legitimate answer. Why would you only have one for each of these girls? Why not have them in different scenarios? Different scenarios? You just need the one, dude. Uh, I kind of need more. Those were, like, the funniest parts of this game! <laughs> well, they're gone now. We've, we've done them already. They're, o they're over with. Oh, Jesus, we caught her midway through dressing. Oh, 
What's your fucking problem, yo? You give up the lead role to Sakura, you miss your line, and you're just kind of... Uh, your head's not in the right spot, what's up? You say you can't hide anything from me, but you were openly sobbing at breakfast this morning, so... She's quitting the Imperial Review! Bullshit! You sick of us? Is that it? Because I'm sick of them. We'll go and create our own combat review with Blackjack and hookers. We'll all go together. It'll be, it'll be a vacation. My parents are dying, Kamiyama. It's very sad. But you're an actress. A theater actress, no less. May wait a minute. What if this is all a ruse to see how well she can act? Okay, bye. You know, I, I like that angle that I just came up with. What if you had an actress in your combat review that was so good at acting you could never tell when she was serious? Would it be impossible to connect with her because which one is the real actress? Well, that's what would make it interesting. And you could only tell if you made a mark depending on, you know, whether you lose points or gain points. Ooh, damn! I guess she'd like to hear that. Well, yeah. cool. I mean, it's not like you're gonna kick her out of her window for saying, hey, I've, I've got to leave. Well, here, let me help you out the door! So she'll, she'll perform for the Christmas show in a few days, and then she's gone. Yeah. All right, so that's one of my favorites. Gone. Good. A any other way you want to kick me? Sakura Wars? Let's bring everybody else in. Hi, none of your business. Hey, do you remember when that bomb went off and we almost died? Haha, <laughs> good times. That was, uh, that was a very intriguing, you know, five minutes. You know, I could roll my eyes about how this is terribly cliché, but the fact that we're not revolving around Sakura in this scene, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I just find it funny that it looks like we were almost taking a field trip to a water park and all of a sudden Anastasia doesn't want to go. Come on, girls! Load onto the bus! We're going to Six Flags! Anastasia... You've never acted in a troupe where you all care about each other? You've never had friends? Okay, I kind of understand where she's coming from. Because apparently all the people we hire at my job have never had a work family. Like the one they have currently working with us. Huh. I mean, do, do you have a work family? I work alone most of the time, so... Okay, so, bad example. Um... We, we, have, we have a team, but I don't like the term family. It feels gross and weird. <laughs> it, fe it feels like it's a term to keep you out of your own home and your own family. It's like, see, don't you like working? You belong here! Well, I mean, it's kind of like the, the friend connections that you have. Like, hey, you, you like coming to work because of the people. That's very hard to come by these days. <laughs> 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 
Try to be more fluid. Okay, just turns into a puddle of water. Perfect, beautiful. <laughs> and then Sakura evaporates and becomes gas. Form of water! <laughs> so I don't know how one weird gesticulation is supposed to be better than another weird gesticulation. Feel the movement, Sakura. If you feel more pretentious, you've done it correctly. Do the acting. It's like it, it, it just feels like everything's on the surface level. It's like they're they're acting out in a very it's 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 just it's not great. Now, if they wanted to show the nitty-gritty of the Christmas show, like, show the part where they're still getting their lines wrong, and they need to nail it down two days before the show. Like, for some reason, it's just not coming out right, the tonation isn't there, uh, everyone breaks down into tears, because like, I can't get it, man! Uh. See, I'm kicking myself because you haven't seen the Christmas show in Soccer Wars 5 yet. Oh shit, there's a Christmas show in Soccer Wars 5? Yeah, it was fucking magical too. Oh, How close were we? I think it's like the next chapter. Or the chapter we're on. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, we're so close! The Christmas show, at least, you know, for these two games, is like... The last hurrah, the last big show before we get to the final encounter. So things get really, really intense. So are they doing that again here, where this is the last hurrah? Yep, because things get real after the Christmas show. Really? Yeah, because after, after this chapter, we've got chapter 7, and then the final chapter. It's two more chapters, and they kind of go hand in hand with one another, I think. Is this another JRPG where we're flying through it in less than 50 episodes? It does not feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we did Thousand Year Door, and I thought, oh, this is easily going to be like 50 plus episodes. Uh, no. One other thing to remember is that I, I I missed a lot of things in Thousand Year Door. There were side quests we didn't do, items we missed. There's a lot, lot of little things that we that we didn't do. This, however, I'm doing everything. That's hilarious to me. You are giving more thought and time into new Soccer Wars than you are Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Because I think Paper Mario is best experienced by the player himself, you know? Well, okay. You can choose your own partner, select your own badges. There's a lot of, uh... There's a lot of ways to play, a lot of methods to get through the game. This one, it's really just one way. By the way, Paper Mario The Thousand Years Door is still ungodly expensive. I'm sure, and this one is about half the price. <laughs> like, every time there's an anime sale going on for PS4, it's, Soccer Wars is always on the list! So, tomorrow is... December 24th. Oh, does it, it's still in March. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Okay. So, uh, there are bromides attached to each of the girls because we're uh -huh. about to do a special Christmas date. <gasps> oh, I love those. So tonight, and for the rest of the episode, we are going to be setting up our dates for tomorrow. Now, the thing <gasps> about this is that you can set up your dates with them but mm -hmm. there's no, like, conflicting schedules, so no, no one's going to get angry if you go with all five girls. In fact, the game uh, wants you to do all five so you can get all the bromides. Okay. Everybody has hearts over their, over their heads, so <gasps> these are all very important. Oh, I love it! So we're, we're going to talk to all five of the girls, set up something for tomorrow with them, and then the next episode is going to be all the Christmas dates. Oh my god, I love this stuff. I'm a sucker for scenarios like this. So we'll start with Hatsuho, of course. Absolutely. I checked some, uh, some statistics online. Mm-hmm. 
And out of the five endings, Sakura is like the most common ending, because again, that's the that's the ending that the game forces yeah. upon you. We're coming at number two. Hell right here. yeah! Hell yeah! Everybody loves the feisty redhead. Who do you think the lowest uh, achieved ending was? Uh, Azami. Azami. Yeah, because nobody wants to date a kid, and if you do, you're a weirdo. Don't ask me out on a date? <laughs> Come on, right? Yeah, I'm not... Nuh-uh, Baka! It is absolutely what I meant. Wow. You hit the Sundari pretty hard there. Your soon is showing. No, the Dede is showing. Oh, excuse me. What does soon mean? Soon's kind of like, you know, the kind of... Aloof, kind of, you know, no. whatever. Ooh, I don't care. Soon, soon. Oh. And then the daddy's like, oh, well, now that you put it that way, you know. Yes. I've got all the time for you. You kidding me? <laughs> don't access well, the yeah, pilots, let's Captain. Hang out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have some faith in yourself, Kamiyama. Oh, she's happy! It's alright, Go, going somewhere with, with Hatsuho, it'll be great. Oh, I love this. And as Kamiyama's leaving her room, he does the silent, like, YES! But where is she taking us? We'll have to find out. Ooh. Oh, let's go somewhere good. Otherwise, I don't love you anymore. Just Sorry. know that our, our relationship hangs on the very... <laughs> I'm very fickle, is what I'm saying. If this goes wrong, I might have to fire you. Sorry. <laughs> there, there, is a... <laughs> there, there is a... A high punishment for disappointing your commanding officer on a date. Hi, Claris. Quite cold in here, isn't it? Yeah. You ever think about zipping up your jacket, maybe? I mean, it's like, what? 25 degrees outside, 15 in here because we can't afford heating? I can see my breath. <sighs> so, do you want to go on a date tomorrow? What if I am? Don't judge me! So what if I am? Why don't you read outside? <laughs> God, if Kindles existed in this time period, that's all we'd be doing on our day tomorrow. Well, you could uh, go sightseeing, I guess. Date me! Apparently that they meant as, like, that go sightseeing means, you know, go somewhere new, somewhere you've never been, and go see the sights. Well, I didn't really mean that. I meant, like, just... Uh, I guess I meant t just take a walk. I was thinking of going outside and seeing the sights with you, and he just looks her up and down. Yeah, I'm liking what I see. Who do you think uh, Clarice's favorite wrestler is? Oh, hold on, I need to go through my wrestling knowledge, because I know you're setting up for something. Uh, uh, hold on. Booker T, that's right. I was just thinking that! Damn it! <laughs> oh, that's so good. Clara still seems like the type that would get overly flustered and just jump to conclusions immediately when it comes to an actual honest-to-god date. Like, we'd start by walking somewhere, and then, like, halfway through the park, she goes, So, do you want to find a nice tree to go, Fuck! 
Yeah, you know, she's, she's all flowery. It's like, ah, huh, I really enjoyed that our walk, our, our walk out here. The sun is shining bright and the wind is cool and crisp. Now, would you like to accompany me to my bedroom so we can have sex? Sorry, that's the magic slipped out. It makes it changes my personality a little bit. Fuck me hard. Hmm. By the way, Kamiyama, I never mentioned the demon, did I? Beel's a book. <laughs> Every time I read my special diary, I just all of a sudden get overwhelmed with a a sense of evil. You want to go out sometime? Sup, fun bags? You want to go somewhere with me? A lot of people call you sugar tits. You have a night with me, I'll make sure it's salty tits. <laughs> if you ever wanted somebody to piss you off during a date, I'm your guy. Hey! You know, I really hope we can go on a boat during our date, otherwise I'd have to find my own way to motorboat you. I have this really difficult male chicken that I'm working with. Maybe you can help me with my hard cock. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know Clarice has a talking book? It's crazy, right? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling that if Kamiyama wasn't as restrained as the writers wanted him to, he'd be like the wolf from the old Looney Tunes cartoons? <laughs> oh! oh! Sees the hot lady, just starts banging on a table. Hey, it's around this time, you know, those Tex Avery cartoons, so, I mean... <laughs> I just have the mental imagery of it. You know, the whistling, you know... Oh! It's so good. I'd just rather watch a Tex Avery cartoon than play this. <laughs> and I could just see it get, like, progressively less wild. Like, you know, you had full Tex Avery going into Hatsuho's room, and then it just... It just starts downgrading with every girl you go see. Like, I have a feeling we're going to go see Izami next. What makes you say that? Because you hate Sakura. And I know better. I don't hate Sakura. I hate people. <laughs> people. 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 Yame? Kami? Yama. Yama. Kami means God, Yama means mountain, I'm the god of the mountain. You want to see my peak? Damn, that was smooth. Don't say it to the kid, though. Well, no, I was... Uh, uh, no, I didn't. Here, try that line two doors down from here. Yeah. Two doors down. I'm not doing it to Sakura. The only cool line she gets is... Get out. <laughs> just, just, just get, just, just get out. <laughs> You're halfway through trying to ask her on a date, and you just belch extremely loudly. I figured I'd go for some Chunibyo bullshit. <laughs> she buys it all. <laughs> I'm the wolf of the stars! Dude! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> They called me Tetsu Avery. Yes! A ninja of the stars. And he's already got the eye for it. I know! This is so great! You know, you, you mentioned Chunibuyo, and I'm for some reason I went to the wrong anime. I started thinking of Welcome to the NHK. Can we reenact that when we go into Sakura's room? Mainly the line, Be gone, dirty whores. So you've seen the anime. I've only read the manga, and that was years ago. 
No matter what media, NHK is hysterical and very sad. What's sad about it? Ah, yeah, well... I mean, at the end, he gets a job and starts living his life like he should instead of being a fucking hikikomori. I was thinking more of the Suicide Pact plotline, but, uh... Suicide Pact? Okay, maybe the types of media are very different from one another. I only read six of the eight mangas, so... Okay. Well, you have homework now. Now, you want funny, check out Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. That's hilarious. I think I've seen that? What was it uh, translated to? Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. Oh, okay. Then, uh, no, I haven't. So I have some No dubbing too. company would ever dare touch it because it is so deeply rooted in Japanese culture and uh, oh. jokes. Gotcha! Now, we've got a date for everybody else except the golden girl here. No, she's no golden girl. I would never just besmirch B. Arthur or Betty White that way. You know, I think I've seen this one. Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. Oh, oh shit, there is an anime. Oh yeah, there's like an entire, like, four whole seasons of it. Oh. Well... Cool. OVA, internet radio show... Have you ever listened to any of those internet radio shows? Nah. Like, I understand why they do it, but that is so not a U.S. thing. I mean, obviously. Uh, what if we go do something fun? Yeah. Oh, apparently there was a Sakura Wars radio show for a while. You want something that ends darkly? Sayonara is that supposed to say ends darkly? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, well, don't spoil it for me, but, uh... Are, are we talking, like, depressing, sad, or... Or dark, I guess I should say? Bittersweet, dark, and they still managed to get a joke out of it. That's hard to do. <laughs> yeah, fine. Uh, oh my god, I didn't even have to see you to know what you were thinking for that one. Oh god, even, even if there are characters I don't like in this, these scenarios always make me smile stupidly. I feel nothing for her, so whatever kind of fun we have is going to be drastically reduced. Well, it'll still be fun, you know, Christmas scenarios are always interesting, at least in my opinion. But then again, I'm a hopeless romantic. Alright, so we have booked our entire day tomorrow. They get to relax and have fun, but I've got my whole day booked and planned out. Wow, we managed to get five separate dates with five separate girls on Christmas. Job well done, Kamiyama. Perfectly prepared. We'll take a day off, and then we'll do the Christmas show, and it'll be great. So let's check our team status. I don't think there's really much that we can add to the team status, because everybody's at the front row now. No, could be pleasantly surprised. I hey! Guess we can, I guess we can see uh, who, you know, what they think of us right now. For example, Sakura is feeling kind of low, because I didn't really get a lot of points with her. Anastasia and Hatsu seem to be in the highest of spirits. So, uh, looking pretty good. So next time on Soccer Wars, it's gonna be nothing but Christmas dates all day long. Get ready for that. Yes. See you next time.